One of the most important things you can do as a developer is to be responsive to your clients. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's something you don't hear too often, but at the end of the day, a big part of your success will be determined by how much and how well you listen to your clients' needs. Being responsive means answering emails fairly quickly, within a day or not within an hour. Uh, returning calls, making calls, checking up on people to be sure that uh, everything is cool with them. This is very important because at the end of the day, especially if you are a developer or you're in the technology business, likely are you're there to provide a service or perhaps an, an app or technology to facilitate your client's day-to-day activities, whether they be personal activities or business activities. We are trying to automate, to simplify, to streamline their day or night. So keep that in mind. Pay attention to your client's needs. In fact, when I work with my developers, I say, number one thing when it comes in, client uh, question response, client questions, client, client bug reports, client problems, everything else dropped below that. We address clients' needs first. Number two, bugs. We fix bugs. Number three, we get into uh, uh, new features. Uh, well, new features. And number four, we always have this process. You should always be a process of refactoring a stabilization of your code base. What do I mean by stabilization? I mean refactoring, which I mean cleaning up, making it more solid, more robust. You know, it's a constant process. When you're managing an app, it's a constant process of refinement. And uh, so there you go. That's the order in which I would suggest you do things. But number one, the big point to take away is you should you should be as responsive to the client as you possibly can. And if client problems come in, everything else drops. Because at the end of the day, it's your clients that are going to pay for the future development of your app or will pay for your time going forward on projects for them and so on. So that's it. I hope you find this useful. Bye-bye.